out that the minor was the one being inappropriate first, and she kept on pestering Cinny to talk about stuff like this. The first big red flag to me was how quickly Cinny admitted to grooming. When it comes to groomers, they never do that. Cosmodor didn't do that. EDP didn't do that. In fact, there's not one single groomer that I can think of that has ever done that. So the crazy thing about this too, on top of him reviewing the doxies, the big red flag of his was that it was crazy how quickly Cinny had admitted to grooming. There's all these messages and everything. I don't know what you would call this if it wasn't grooming. All the messages and everything like that, the like sexually explicit content being involved between Cinebear and this other user. If it's not grooming, what is it then? It's actually explicit content being shared with an adult and a minor. What would you call that? In court, people are allowed to rescind their guilty plea, and that is put into law because humans are, well, human. They can be pressured into saying that they're guilty even when they aren't. Tons of people have admitted to practicing witchcraft because they were pressured into it. Okay, Jaw, that may be true, but did you actually watch Jack's video? Yes, and it barely had any evidence at all. It is mostly just Jack talking, and that's pretty much it. So I get that he's making the sentiment here that uh, Cindy Bear was pressured into saying she was a groomer when the statements and the and the actual screenshots and everything really point towards. I'm not saying she is a groomer. However, in every single predatory case and grooming allegation case and all this other kind of stuff, her conversation with this minor is how it starts. And keep in mind, folks, this isn't the first time she has been caught doing this with a minor, which is another huge red flag that I think Justin Robot went over this. The other problem I have with his statements here is he's always juggling. He's juggling the legal aspect of this thing with the moral obligation that we all uphold online. Don't talk to minors, don't message minors. And he's bringing the legal aspect into this. And I think it's just a bunch of coke because your whole video is about the moral authority and how you view the commentary community and the art commentary community. You can't bring the legal system in it when you're trying to make a moral point and argument. It's just not gonna work that way. Cinny allegedly groomed a 14 year old and Jack somehow makes it about itself and gets $10,000 in donations. Like what, how does that work? Uh, if that's the rule from here on out, uh, Professor Dreadlock has been messaging minors inappropriately. Now give me $10,000, please. Even if you're moving out, you don't need $10,000 unless you live in California or New York or something. In fact, if you live in one of those two states, $10,000 will only cover your rent for a week. But why couldn't Jack just ask for, I don't know, two or $3,000 and then get a job? So that's crazy. He's got a complaint about this $10,000 donation thing and people are giving their hard earned money for it. What does it matter to you what people want to spend their money on? I never understood this. People make up GoFundMes and all this stuff for random things and then get mad when people actually donate to them. I never understood the, the issue with that. Let people spend money how they want to spend money. If they get scammed, they really get scammed. I mean, we could try to be the moral police about certain things and disagree with it. That's fine. But to have an issue with how other people spend their money on things is a little weird to me. It's so weird that he says uh, $10,000 to move out. You don't need $10,000 to move out. I mean, $10,000, I'm pretty sure everyone that wants to move out or is already living somewhere would not mind $10,000 to going towards their bills. I mean, it's does this guy only think people pay rent on and that's it? Like there's no other bills? $10,000 in the grand scheme of things throughout the year is pretty much nothing. You spend $10,000, and I live in New York, you spend $10,000 in less than a month. Uh, that is factual, New York and California. Uh, anywhere else, though it'll probably get you by for maybe two three months maybe maybe even 10 months if you're living in a studio apartment just on rent alone which would be cool cover his rent for a year i just don't understand why you have an issue with that i don't i don't get it. there's a bigger issue here she got caught talking to a minor a second time a third time maybe the bus but jar the document had all the proof i mean look how many pages it had all that evidence must prove that Cinny's a groomer right well actually no there's not one shred of evidence that Cinny groomed anyone no evidence what what do you want what does this guy want just the robot because all these pages of the docs all the pages of the images all the pages of the conversations in discord uh, if that doesn't prove grooming what do you call it then what do you call it once again just a robot what do you call it when an adult, a legal adult, a 20 year old is sending sexually explicit content to a minor. What would you call that? Keep in mind, this is not the first time, by the way. Started to notice a pattern of behavior. I want to make this 100% crystal clear. Cinny did 100% speak inappropriately around minors. But know who else did that? Pyro. Recently, to those who are unaware, that's cool and all, but I don't see how these cases are similar. The second time this has happened, to say the least, he's trying to downplay the evidence in front of our eyes. It was the party's final wish. Refute the evidence in front of your eyes. This is the second time, Just a Robot. A second time. 
Next part of the video is going to be super weird. Um, editing flatly, by the way. It's just super weird take, and I had to cut out like half. I had like a five minute rant about this. This was absolutely insane. She said she would never ever do this again, and she did. However, people are also more forgiving about this stuff when it's over the internet. Me hitting on a 17 year old in real life is different than me hitting on a 17 year old over the internet. After all, I can see the 17 year old in real life, but on the internet, I can't see what they look like. On the internet, I hear someone talking to me. In real life, I see a minor in front of me. Absolutely not. I think it's the same exact thing. I think the, the mentality there, I think the intent is there. It's the same exact thing because usually what happens online, there's an extra step for they try to meet up in real life i still think it's the same thing there's no way you're going to peddle this kind of garbage there's no way you're going to kind of peddle this kind of mentality in today's world to catch a predator always starts with fishing online bro they get these guys online to meet up in real life i think it's the same irl is the same thing nowadays nine times out of ten it's from the internet that they meet up with these miners so i think it's the same exact thing it's completely nullified and i think it's just the worst bad faith argument he could ever have Bing. Most of the stuff in the doc doesn't really show her doing that much bad stuff at the start. I don't think having your OC in a suggestive pose where minors can see it is that big of a deal. If it was, then the doc maker would also be at fault. Also, anyone who made a video about this situation, as they were linking the doc showing images of her OC in sexy outfits, would also be at fault. Then you have to ask yourself, how is this grooming? If you're not trying to get with someone, you're not grooming them. If you want to hate on Cindy for this, that's fine, but she's not a pedo. Now I know what some of you are going to say. Well, we're not saying she groomed a 14 year old to get with them. She just groomed a 14 year old to be more comfortable with conversations like this so she could coom. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I thought that at first, but it turns out that the minor was the one being inappropriate first, and she kept on pestering Cindy to talk about stuff like this. <sighs> There's no way he just blamed the minor. <laughs> just blame the minor, bro. Listen, bro. The difference between a minor and an adult is that the minor is not an adult, right? There comes some kind of purity and sanctity with the minor. The minors are always going to make mistakes. You're the adult. You should have the know with and what all to know, hey, we shouldn't be talking like this. Hey, I'm going to block you. Hey, this is wrong. That comes with being an adult. This wonderful thing called responsibility, right? Something that teenagers and minors don't really have, bro. They're just figuring out the world. They're growing up into this new body. There's changes going on in their life. They, they're about to become an adult in the coming years, bro. The adult already went through that they should already know. Responsibility. That is just absolute cope, and it just really sounds like you're you're safeguarding Cindy Bear, which he does. He does simp for her. Absolutely insane. I would not be considered hardcore corn. This kept on escalating until Cindy, ah, uh, she sent the same not safe for work essaying comic to this minor and requested this minor to draw even more corn of the character of Boy and Nightmare Sands. From the censoring job, it looks like a few parts of this comic would have been legally classified as hardcore corn. The absolute the worst thing Cinny sent was this picture of Boy fingering her avatar. However, it should be noted that the doc maker was not the one who censored this out. It was actually Cinny herself. When I first saw this, I thought, yeah, Cinny's guilty. But when I found out that she censored the worst parts of this comic herself, it made her look far less guilty than I was previously led to believe. I agree that what Cinny did was wrong. I agree she was being irresponsible. But I do not think that Cinny is a groomer, a pedo, a child predator, or anything like that. Is she guilty or not, bro? What the f- She still sent it to a minor. What are you talking about? What the f- just a robot you're a fucking clown dog you're a clown somebody really needs to beat your ass bro oh what the fuck are you talking about it's a good thing she censored them when she sent them to a minor for like the second time it makes sense bro by the way uh this guy's also in love with her he's super simps for her it's in the thumbnail here's the image there you go that's all the bias you need to do just a robot you just ruined your career your credibility is out the window if i see you around back again bro i'm gonna remind you every single day if you pop back up in this commentary sphere Again, hang up the skates, bro. It's over. It's over. Guys, thank you for listening, watching, and subscribing. I'll see you all on the next one. Subscribe if you're brand new, and I'm out of here.